You want to make certain that none of your documents are signed by someone who lacks the proper authority. By linking each individual signer's name and each loan to the authorizing signing authority document and preventing any document from being signed unless and until that link is validated, you'll be able to ensure that each signature is fully authorized. For example, if a document is signed pursuant to a power granted by the servicer's board of directors, but the name of the signer does not appear on the relevant active corporate resolution, then the signature is unauthorized. In this case, the signer's name should be linked to that signing authority. In another example, if a document is signed pursuant to a power of attorney, but the loan to which the document relates is not one of the loans to which that power of attorney applies, then the signature is, again, unauthorized. In this case, the loans should be linked to the signing authority document. This linking of signer name to signing authority and of loan number to signing authority should be implemented with electronic controls. However, that system must be managed. Even with a solid electronic solution in place, you should also have trained specialists looking at each signature to catch any errors they get through. And these errors, by the way, can have dire consequences. The federal government now requires that mortgage assignments are executed with appropriate legal authority. This has focused attention industry-wide on the authority required to execute an assignment.